Hi there guys and welcome to the third video. In here I'm going to explain you the hair anatomy and as well the three stages of the hair growth. So first let me explain you the hair anatomy and what I actually draw in this picture here. So first thing you're going to see is the hair that's going to rise underneath the skin. After that is the skin surface around here. The third one is the sebum. So heb, sebum is actually an oily substance that's uh, when it comes from the inside to the outside of the skin, you will have that oily beard, oily skin. Sebum is very good for your skin. It helps you develop a healthy beard. Sebum is not that good for your head, but for your beard is very good. Uh, the fourth one is the seba sebaceous glands. They're actually producing all the sebum that uh, it's healthy for your beard. Beard. After that is the beard follicle around here. So the beard follicle is actually going to be boosted when you're applying all the treatments that I'm going to advise you to. After that is the bulb in here with the blue. So the bulb is actually, let's say, the root of your hair, of your hair growth, of your follicle, where all your uh, the nutrients and all the substances are going to be received through here and delivered to the whole hair. After that is the capillaries. The capillaries are small tiny veins that actually nourish and uh, deliver all the nutrients to the, to the bulb. So basically this is a short anatomy of your hair growth. Is anything that, uh, that you need to, to, to understand for your uh, healthy hair growth. After that we have the three stages in here. The hair growth stages that you need to understand and know. So the first one is the anagen part, is uh, the stage where the hair is on an active growth stage, when your hair is growing massively and receiving all the nutrients and everything for, for a healthy growth. After that is the telogen part, this is the resting stage when your hair is not uh, in first or, or the third stage, so it's just standing by. When your hair is on the second one, it's either going to the anagen part or either to the catagen part. So the third stage is the catagen and this is the regression stage. The regression stage, it means that your bulb, your follicle bulb won't receive any more nutrients or will receive less nutrients and your hair follicle is starting to be thinner and thinner. When it comes to the beard growth, maybe you notice that not so many males with a thick beard actually go bald on the beard. That's <clears throat> simply because we have a way better, uh, way better uh, sanguine circulation around our beards, which keeps the hair follicle and all the beard very strong. But uh, you need to help that follicle grow to boost that follicle simply because in your face on your face your hair is not that developed because uh, it only goes within aging and when your DHT starts to 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 build up so this is the whole hair anatomy please check it out and uh, thank you very much and uh, see you in the next video thanks a lot bye bye